With me here is the Oraimo Hub Hypertype mechanical keyboard. It's uh, the packaging is quite large. Let's open it and see what we have. Oh, this is the key keyboard cable. I've unboxed it and uh, we have the keyboard rest here and the keyboard, which is quite hefty. And it has a braided cable, which will, which seems quite durable. And uh, I got it from the Remo eShop, so I can take it out using my link, which I'll, p I'll pin in the comments, the description. So for, for aesthetics, here's what it looks like. It has, a, I don't know what this is, we'll find out later. And uh, the keys are quite clicky. I think it has blue switches from what I read on the website. And at the back, we have uh, these kickstands for adjusting the typing angle. And they're quite snappy, which is quite good. And um, um, I'll connect it to a computer and we'll see uh, how it works. And uh, it has RGB lighting and we'll play around with it a bit before I use it and then I'll give a detailed review. Two weeks later. So I've been using the Rymo Hypertype for a few weeks now, for a couple of weeks now. And uh, I'll give a review of what my experience has been. But it has been a good experience. I've been using it and I'm a bit faster with it. So we'll go through uh, everything you can see and what you should expect. So uh, the first uh, thing you'll see is the R RGB lighting, which is in different colors. But these colors don't change. They're just uh, like that. And um, uh, this is the default setting when you connect it for the first time. It's just plug and play. So, but this color, you can play around with it. You can change the brightness and the, the way they light up. So I'll just show you the basics of how to change the color modes. And it's flickering here, but it's a steady light. It's just my phone camera, which is a bit uh, old. So it's not picking up the, the lighting quite well. But uh, so changing the, the color modes, it's simple. You'll just hold FN and then you press this. Uh, I think this means print screen. You hold a fan and just then you tap it once and you'll see it's a different color mode. Uh, then I can change to another mode. Okay, this one, the lights are off, but when you tap, the key that you tap will, will light up. Um, let's find another color mode. So this one it's on but when you touch it it blinks you can see and then we have another one yeah this one when you tap it it reacts any button that you press and then there's another one i think there's one more mode this one, when you tap this, the whole line lights up. And there's another one here. What does this do? Yeah, this one, a group of keys around the key that you have pressed will light up. And then, let's see if there's another one. Yeah, there's this one. And then, we have this one, the light goes from here to here. Uh, and there's this one. The camera is not capture, capturing it well, but they're flickering. And then this, this one. So the good thing about these uh, animations is that you can adjust their speed and all that. I'll get, I'll get to that when I, when I finish with all the mods that we have. Then there's this one. Goes back. It goes to this side and then it comes back. And then you have this one. And then 
we have that one. I haven't counted the mods, but uh, you can count them for yourself. This is the default one. Um, I just like using the default and you can see I'm using also the Remo mouse. You can watch my video, which I link here, which uh, it will also be a comparison video with this. It's the Smart Mouse F and this one is the Smart Mouse P. You can check them out in the video that I've linked just right above here. So now this is the default mode. Uh, so I'll switch to a mode which, uh, which has animations. Then I'll show you how to to change the frequency. So to see how to change the frequency and brightness, I'll uh, switch to a mode that uh, is that is moving so that you can see the difference clearly. Let's use a mode like this one. To increase the frequency, you'll hold Fn and press the this scroll button, the left one. This one will be the slowest speed and then you can increase it using the right scroll button. You can see it's, the frequency has increased. Uh, and uh, to switch to, let's switch to another mode. And see, yeah. So the frequency affects all modes, but you can reduce it by doing that. See, that's the slowest that mode can be. So let's see how the fastest. Yeah, that's how it. Uh, that's how it is. So and uh, to reset the settings to default, you can hold F. Uh, you can hold Fn and delete at the same time. It will return to the default setting. And here, so I'll show you how to adjust the brightness. If it's too bright and it's dark, you can use the up and down buttons. The down button will reduce the brightness. I don't know if it's you can see it. Let me increase the brightness. It's daytime, so it's not that clear, but at night you can see the difference really clearly. So, and again, to reset these settings to the default, you just hold Fn and delete. So that's just about it on how to use it. I'll also, uh, we can also look at the media button. As I say, this one is for volume, and you can also use it for play pause by clicking it yeah, so it's it's an analog dial and it goes 360 degrees any direction and it works on all operating systems without any issue uh, with that out of the way let us focus on the build quality uh, on top here the keys are plastic and the top is metallic and it's a hefty keyboard it's heavy uh, but it, but that's not a problem. I think it's because of the quality material it uses. And at the back here, uh, we have kickstands, which are with silicone bottom, and they snap into place. And the silicone helps so that you cannot slide around on your table. And there's also this other silicone silicone stops, which uh, also work for the same. And here's where you insert the the keyboard rest the hand rest when you're typing let me find it uh, here it is uh, but um, you can just uh, i'm working with one hand here so you can just slide it into the bottom and it, it will snap into place uh, so if you like using a, a hand rest you can use this one but i don't find it use i don't have any use for it so i prefer using my keyboard without it so i'll just take it out continue showing you the rest of the keyboard now we we'll look at the each individual key uh, it's a mechanical keyboard and so uh, it gives tactile feedback and all and the keys are also removable you can take out these three for demonstration so that's what it looks like these are blue switches which give a uh, they feel really nice when pressing since these keys are removable and you can easily return them i'm not sure about replacements or you can if you can use other keys that you can get somewhere else but if they fit if they fit this design i'm sure they'll you'll have no problem uh, using them on this one in case you lose one or you damage one one thing i'm so new about this keyboard it's really loud if you don't love uh, loud keyboards this is not for you but 
it feels really nice i love the sound i love the uh, feedback and everything about it it's now my main keyboard and uh, you notice my typing has become a little bit faster with this one i've never used a mechanical keyboard before so this is my first time and i'm loving it already i've never bought a mechanical keyboard given their high prices but this one is affordable uh, you, you might, if you are lucky you can check the Arimo website and you can find a very good offer and you can get it for even half the price so uh, that's just about it about the keyboard the only problem i face is with the i don't know how to turn off these lights i i, I haven't figured it out yet so let me know if you have figured it out and then uh, i leave links on where to buy it on in kenya and nigeria i leave the links in the comment section and uh, in the pinned comment and the description so by using those links you'll support the channel and you can use my discount code which i leave uh, in this video which will give you 5% off your order. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.